Hey right, guys, this is Flying Harlucha, and today we're going to be reviewing the demonic zombie prop from Asda. Now, as we know, last year the pirate skeleton prop came out, and he had a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> it sucks because on the very last day it went from sixty pound. I think it was sixty pound down to about ten pounds, and now if you go on eBay, it cost over two hundred and fifty pounds. It sucks that I didn't get that prop last year. Or the one before that, I think, was a Grim Reaper. And I really and you can get a Wilco Wilco Grim Reaper as well. That was last year. Unfortunately, I didn't get those. But I've ordered the Looming Phantom from Costco, so he should be coming soon. Uh, yeah, I ordered him off eBay. So anyway, we're talking about this prop. This prop is the demonic zombie prop from Asda. It says, Beware the Walking Dead with a haunting host of Halloween sound effects and lights. And free AA batteries included. I like the AAs. They're my, probably my favourite brand. Uh, six feet tall. I'd say about that's about right. The box looks like this. Got the bats in the back. Tells you the batteries here. Instructions for use. Yeah, inside the box. Pretty big box. <laughs> now, you're wondering, how did I assemble this? Well, here are the instructions right here. Another weird thing. The very, very first zombies they made, he had blood on his mouth. But that was the earlier ones, so the later ones, they don't have blood. But it's still a pretty good prop without the blood. So... So the little poles that are inside it, hold on. So as you see the poles here, uh, labelled C, D, B, C, A, A. And yeah, this ring you see here, it goes under the feet, but I can't bother to take it apart now. So uh, yeah, I've adjusted the hands. The hands are very easy to adjust. You literally just twist them round. And yeah, it's cloth like this. Uh, yeah, it's no, really nice cloths here. The hands are giant. <laughs> They're pretty big hands. Uh, he's got the buttons on his on his uh on his t shirt. Oh it looks kinda of like a polo shirt to be honest. And if we turn it on, we can turn it on for the back here. If I just Open the back up. There we go. A little bit more. Voila. You got the controls, you got all the stuff down there. Got the whole thing there. Big massive control box here. And what we do is we go on off. I'm going to switch it to this song. Right, and then what we do? I think I think we have to press this. No. Right, we'll try it again. There we go. So that's, that's what he does. He groans. I'm happy that he doesn't talk because you don't really get many talking zombies, do you? And if we go like this. You literally just go like this. Hold on, I got it on the wrong setting, have I? I'm not quite sure how that works. Yeah, 
He is pretty loud. But I, I think he's censored. You sort of got like that with the face, and, and it, it automatically moves. But. Um, if I can get it to stop. Oh, does anyone clap? See if that makes any difference. No, that doesn't make any difference. Maybe it's a setting. Yeah, it's weird. If you get up close to it, it it does that. But or you could just switch the setting and make sure it goes like this. Yeah. It is a really, really, really good prop. I'll give him out of out of five, I'd probably give him. I give him a three. Now the reason I give him a three is because the mouth doesn't move. Unfortunately, it's pretty cool, still cool, but the mouth doesn't move. Uh, it's got kind of glass eyes, as you can. See. They're not really glass; they're made out of plastic, but they're really, really hard. This is a very, very good prop. I give it a three out of five. So the next review I'll be doing, guys, is the Looming Phantom. Now, I'll, I'll talk more around that when the video comes. But I'm going to be buying that off eBay. So thank you very much, guys. And I hope you have a happy Halloween.